Hi guys, um, so thanks for joining us. I'm gonna just very quickly review how to put on EKG leads in an older child or adolescent. So we'll start off with our precordial leads. Um, for children we, we, or for adults, um, we always go to the fourth intercostal space um, to start off with V1, right just to the right of the sternal border. We will go for V2 to the left of the sternal border and also in, in the fourth intercostal space here. So right across and then we'll skip ahead, we'll skip V3 and go to V4. So V4 is going to be in the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. So we'll put V4 right there and then we'll go back to V3 and put it midway between V2 and V3. Now we'll go to V5. So V5 is going to be just a uh, stays in the fifth intercostal space right across from V4 in the anterior axillary line and then V6 will be in the mid axillary line also in the fifth intercostal space just across from V5. V7 will be right next to that so it'll be right here and then we'll go for, uh, for most of the, our children we usually do V3R and V4R so V4R will just be mirror image of V4 here. So it'll be in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line, but on the right side. And then V3R will be just like V3 here, mirror image in between V1 and V4R. Um, so that's our mid precordial leads. For our arm leads, you can, um, as long as their arms are not moving around and they're old enough that they can sit still, you can put it anywhere between the wrist and the shoulder. Uh, so we'll put our left one here, our right one here. Uh, if, the, if their arms are moving around and they're not able to sit still, you can just put it two inches below the clavicle uh, on either side. Similarly with their, with their legs, um, if they're able to sit still, you can put their, the leads uh, just below the knee and above the ankle on each leg. Uh, however, if they're not able to sit still or not move their legs, you can put them uh, just around the pelvic area uh, in the left and right, respectively. Um, always just remember to put in the e-medical record number with an E in the beginning. And uh, you, it's always okay to wait two minutes unless it's an emergency, just to let the child calm down and minimize artifact. And uh, always remember, if you do have an isoelectric line like this, uh, that usually means uh, that there is limb lead reversal. So, or, uh, so you can uh, just make sure the leads are placed correctly and that they're connected correctly to the cable junction box. And that's all. Thank you, guys.